الكريم أما بعد رمضان مبارك to you to your families to your friends and to the ummah of Nabi alayhi salatu wassalam but how will the Ramadan become mubarak that is the question it's very easy to tell everybody Ramadan mubarak Ramadan mubarak and we will say it to you will say to me I will say to you but to make the Ramadan mubarak the person has to keep the fast in the appropriate manner if the person does not observe the fast in the month of Ramadan in the appropriate manner how can that Ramadan become Mubarak if the person's earnings in the month of Ramadan are not halal if the person is engaging in cheating deceiving the person is embezzling funds or the person is involved in corruption in the month of Ramadan or is casting lustful glances and gazes at the women in the streets and market places the person is negligent with his salat also in the month of Ramadan or he is hooked up on TV and movies even in the month of Ramadan and many even are in the casinos in the month of Ramadan and go to other parts of the world and see what is happening in the month of Ramadan so then can that Ramadan be Mubarak can there be Barakat in that Ramadan so Allah the Baraka wa Ta'ala's fazal and his ihsan upon us that he gave us again a month of Ramadan just as Allah Ta'ala has provided so much of nourishment for our physical bodies our physical bodies look at the amount of nourishment that Allah Ta'ala has provided so many varieties of things that Allah Ta'ala has made halal for us to eat and drink just so that not only we may nourish our physical bodies but we may even enjoy that nourishment Allah Ta'ala could have made it such that for the Muslims it's just nourishment finish eat that much which is sufficient to keep your bodies upright and finish everything in the Akhirah but I've explained this many times that in this world also look at Allah Ta'ala's Ihsan and Fazal how many things he has made halal for us different different varieties also look at the different kinds of fruit that's halal different kinds of meat that's halal flesh of so many different animals if they're slaughtered in the proper manner is halal vegetable kingdom I think everything is halal look at the fish of the sea halal variety of things and yet it's just for the nourishment of that physical body which is not going to remain forever in this world after some time it's going to perish death is going to come and thereafter the body is going to put into the earth and that's the end of the physical body but yet in this worldly life so many things for its nourishment then Allah Ta'ala provides the oxygen and look at all the different different things that Allah Ta'ala has created for our benefit so if he has given so much for our physical benefits for our physical bodies if Allah Ta'ala is giving so much which bodies are not going to be even remaining forever in this world the bodies which are going to expire is going to have an expiry date the bodies have got an expiry date or the life has got an expiry date so if Allah Ta'ala is providing so many things for that body phool mur ja gaye chandni dal gayi अपना अंजाम भी कह गई हर कली बेनिशा बेनिशा हो गए हर निशा कब्र में खाक छानी मगर क्या मिली नथिंग द कवर शेक द अर्थ एंड सी इफ देर एनी फेसेस लेफ्ट देर सी इफ देर एनी कलर्स लेफ्ट देर नथिंग so for that kind of a body if Allah Ta'ala has made so many things halal and permissible then you think for the spiritual body which is going to remain forever and ever the soul will go on and on there's no end either it will end up finally in Jahannam or it will go to Jannat but it will carry on there are different stages of the journey of this soul so you think Allah Ta'ala is going to neglect the nourishment of that soul So for the physical body there is no need for any kind of targheeb 
that any kind of encouragement is required and great amount of waz and nasihat is required for the physical bodies physical body as soon as the person feels pain is searching for a doctor he doesn't have to be even told that now i think you should look for some doctor or some surgeon or some specialist because your physical body is not in proper condition you don't need a lot of waz and nasihat and bayan the person himself knows that there is that if the pain is sharp on his chest it could be heart problem he'll rush to a specialist so the physical body the person doesn't require that much targhib but when it comes to the spiritual side then we become negligent because we are living in a world that is full of materialism we are surrounded by materialism materialism does not mean the usage of wealth the usage of furniture the usage of cars the usage of homes that's not materialism but when we become negligent of the akhirat and these things divert our attention from the remembrance of allah taala then it becomes dunya so living in this dunya and being surrounded by the things of this dunya then we sometimes become what we say as duniyadar in this dunya we become duniyadar we become people of the world finish just as other people want to enjoy everything irrespective of halal or haram then that is what our mizaj becomes whereas what is required that we live in dunya what we stay deendar we must stay in dunya but we must stay using dunya to become deendar there's a fine line we are staying in dunya we will use everything of dunya but we still will be deendar duniya ke mashghalon mein bhi wo ba khuda rahe wo sab ke sath reh ke bhi sabse juda rahe that is the deendar person that he is in dunya but he hasn't become a person of dunya he is making use of the dunya to become deendar he uses his eyes correctly and he becomes deendar he uses his ears correctly and he is deendar he uses his wealth correctly and he becomes deendar so he is living in this world he is in living in dunya and he is making use of the things of dunya but he is becoming deendar with that dunya how simple islam is how beautiful it is doesn't strangle us doesn't stifle us doesn't say we mustn't make progress in this world the only restriction it places is on those things which i have mentioned hundred and plenty times which are harmful to the individual self or harmful to his body or his family or to the society or to the nation only those things which are harmful allah taala prohibits so amongst those things which allah taala gave to us to make us deen dar in this dunya is fasting in this month of ramadan fasting in the month of ramadan for spiritual purification because we keep neglect this soul so now we are in this dunya we are going to eat at sahri time we are going to make iftar again but we are going to obey the ahkam or the laws of allah taala regarding fast and the laws of nabi alay salat was salam and that will make us deen dar we are not prohibited from eating sahri time iftar time in the whole night the person has got so that is all that is required that in this dunya we become deen dar that's all that's one lesson for the first night of ramadan if we understand this sufficient nasihat that we live in this world but we don't become people of the world we remain conscious of the akhirat conscious of the akhirat hubb duniya masan kam in our hearts the love the hubb must be of jannat the love must be of jannat the love must be of allah tbaraka wa taala's countenance in jannat we must look forward to that and this becomes like a bridge over which we cross into the hereafter to cross the ocean we require a ship 
so the ship will be made of planks of wood of en- it will have an engine it will have bunks and beds and rooms and fixture and fittings and everything but that ship is made to make us cross the ocean that's all. so we will make use of the ship so water it will be essential the whole ocean will be required for that ship to sail for that big ship to sail but we always will be on guard that that water mustn't come into the ship the person is always on guard the pilot of the boat or ship or the captain is always checking his instruments they are always checking that there must be any kind of seepage where after that water starts coming into the ship once it comes inside the ship will sink so they will need the water but it has to be outside the ship like that we need this dunya but it must be outside our hearts that's all so let us make our niyat here that this ramadan will be obedient to allah taala and his nabi alay salatu wasalam all our sins of the past will make sincere tawbah from it allah taala has opened the doors of maghfirat and forgiveness already for us his rahmat and mercy knows no bounds so we require a few rakats namaz some tilawat of the quran sharif some istighfar and tawba fulfillment of the rights of people and if we caused hurt pain and injury to anybody ask forgiveness start slowly the qazas this will be repeated throughout ramadan may allah tbaraka wa taala give me give you and the ummah at large the tawfiq to spend the time correctly not only in the month of ramadan but throughout our lives but let us make this a starting point the first eve let us make a sincere niyat of change now we will be getting up for sahri so how long does it take to make four rakats namaz if not eight at least four rakats and it will be tahajjud time and duas are most accepted at tahajjud time may allah tbaraka wa taala give us tawfiq of amal wa akhir dawana an alhamdulillah rabbil alamin اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم يا رحيم يا كريم يا ذا الجلال والاكرام يا ذا الجلال والاكرام يا ذا الجلال والاكرام فجيبي جن ايفري ون اوف اس يا رب كريم يو جيف اس لايف ذس فرست اوف رمضان يا رب كريم جيف اس لايف ثرو اوت ذا مانث اوف رمضان forgive our major sins minor sins sins that we committed knowingly and unknowingly in the light of day or darkness of night give us the tawfiq of stain and refrain from everything that is sinful haram and displeasing to you ay rabb kareem give us the tawfiq to fast in the appropriate manner ay rabb kareem make the whole month of ramadan full of barakat for us and for muslims throughout the world wherever there are disasters especially in pakistan and other places ay rabb kareem remove the difficulties the pain the hardships and problems rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim wa tub alayna innaka antat tawwabur rahim wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqihi sayyidina wa nabiyyana wa shafi'ina wa maulana muhammadin wa alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين tomorrow night is Thursday night inshallah we'll have a zikr program inshallah there'll be a zikr program tomorrow night for 35 to 40 minutes all we need is a mental conditioning of our mind we will be sitting for the 30 minutes 40 minutes that's all as it is we'll go outside and we'll pass time So don't worry about it. For whom so ever it is convenient. Sit. Those people who get tired, then you mustn't worry. That it's not compulsory. But inshallah, you will get the benefit. MashaAllah, so many of you sitting for the first night. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala accept your sitting. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala shower his mercy. His rains of rahmat that pour in Ramadan. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala trench our hearts. This is a kind of enjoyment that we must get in ibadah, zikr, tilawah. 
Right, remove your cars and quickly. Just check whose car was that obstructing that person. Remove.